Now at 5.30, Uber is planning on taking its rideshare service to new heights in the Bay Area. The service is called Uber Air, and Santa Clara could be the home for, the, for its first Skyport. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. Uber wants riders to use those Skyports to fly to their destinations. As KPI X5's Devin Feely reports, a new deal today could make that a reality. Many of us have been waiting for years to get the flying cars that we saw on television growing up as children. Now, Uber says that that little slice of science fiction may soon become reality. In fact, it could be landing in a city like Santa Clara in just a matter of years. The rideshare company may build a research and development facility north of Levi Stadium for Uber Elevate, which would develop autonomous helicopter-like aircraft that could soar above the crowded commute below. Since the 1950s, they've been promising us flying cars, so it's kind of interesting to see that finally turning into reality. Mark Causey says he's both excited and apprehensive about the new technology. Uber says the aircraft would initially have pilots, but the plan is to slowly phase them out. Would I personally uh, jump into one on the first day that it launches? Maybe not. I'm already a cautious person anyway. I'm adventurous, but I'm not that adventurous to be up in the air, um, pilotless. Um, I already have a little hard time taking a regular airplane with a pilot. So. According to a spokesperson for the company, Uber Elevate would cost roughly the same as Uber X, its luxury car service. The aircraft would be electric and could fly between 25 to 60 miles before recharging. And the sales pitch is pretty basic. The air, the company says, may soon be the only and best option for avoiding ever increasing congestion on the ground. Almost you could think of we're adding a new road network. In this case, it would be in the sky. It is quite foolish to assume that that is going to alleviate on-ground congestion. But Uber may soon give you the option for a price to leave the ground and the congestion behind. Now, once again, the target date for all of this is 2023. Obviously, there's still some technical issues that have to be ironed out, as well as regulatory ones with federal agencies like the FAA. In Santa Clara, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.